Hello and welcome to Pantheon the Geeks. You join us for a box unboxing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can see up here. It's Green Horde. It's wave two of Green Horde, which we've been Yay. waiting to come. Um, we don't have to wait that long, to be no. honest. Compared to some people. I was expecting it. I was beginning to think, mm, where's it coming? <laughs> <laughs> but it's arrived today. Yay. Here is the box. It's not as big as the last box we got from them, all the massive darkness stuff. Oh yeah, that, that was massive. It's plenty large. You could get lost in that. So I'm going to use my kniff of opening. Uh, plus one to destroying cell tech. I was going to use it on the other side. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I've got the plus one of kniff. I think I've just ranked up. Yeah, you leveled up. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see what's in the box. I know we didn't get absolutely everything. There's a few things we didn't get. But most of the stuff we got. And I can't even remember what it was we got. So this is a bigger surprise for me than this for you guys. <laughs> right. Uh, so we start with the small boxes around yeah. the outside. We have North the Halfling. There he is. We will get him out of the boxes as part of the unboxing. We have a special gas box. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have the Rat King and Swamp Troll box. Cool. She's on there. We have the Black Plague Ultimate Survivors set. It's the upgraded original stuff. Oh, it is, it? isn't it? Yeah. We have William. We'll unbox all these separately as we go along, don't worry. We just get everything out. We have the first expansion, No Rest for the Wicked. We have whoop, Friends and Foes, which is the. The dice. We have some cards there. Oh, those are for the massive darkness ones, isn't it? Yeah, we've got the crossover, crossover set. set. Yeah. And then we have the zombie hole box, but of boxness. The box of holding. So everything is meant to fit in this. Aha. Uh -huh. the actual stuff. There's actually stuff in here though, I can feel it. Alright. So this is a box of this must have all the um what's it? Um, the stretch goals of Yeah. There we go. So where do you want to begin? Um, I think we should begin with that and see what's in there. Yeah, this is this is still the mystery box to us. There we go. I'll get rid of that. So there we go, the mystery box of ordinariness. Right. On the back, shows you everything that should be in here. There's Modius Rock Thomas. So it's all the Kickstarter ones. Should also be a feral dragon in there. Cool. Uh, in addition, extra uh, orc zombies and stuff. Yeah, let's get it off. Yeah. All right. Return to the knife of plus one. Ding. I've leveled up as well. <laughs> plus two. Aww, I'm still level one. Nicely done. That beats um, scrabbling to get it on. Yeah. All the stuff on the background. Yeah. Not quite enough. off and shoved it away from the table. It's <laughs> open there. Yeah. Keep going. Right. Okay. Put on that. What's that? Change the camera angle a little bit. You can see what we can see. Okay. It's one over here called Countess Ordelia. Countess Ordelia? Yeah, definitely a nod to Carrie Fisher. 
Right, so we've got rules in here. I don't know what's in this bit. Oh, just it's actually the rules for the models that are in here. You oh, like rules. it, an addendum to the. Yeah, so I'll say they're all being got. separate. They combine them into one. Cool. That's good. That's good. We have the horde waiting zone, <laughs> which is where you build up your horde models. Oh, cool. Before they come on. Which is a nice little idea, actually. Nice little touch, that. Okay. Uh, we have cards, though. Have some more cards. Starting with Anton Guffin, who's obviously Iron Man. He should be in there somewhere. So, oh, oh, oh. oh, he says. So, that's what we've got in the top tray. We have the Feral Dragon, Sans Wings. Wings are separate, obviously for uh, moving it around. Let's have a look at the wings. Where's the wings? So the thing is, if you're going to be storing them, so easy are these to go on and off? This is the question. Um, obviously, if you're going to put these back in the box, you're going to have to not glue the wings on. So they're on. That wing's not very sturdy. So. See, I'm not going to be happy unless I glue them in, so this guy won't be going back in the box anyway. Yeah. The left wing goes on pretty solid, no problem there. And there you go. The right wing doesn't. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to definitely need to be glued in. But there he is. I think we'll, until I come to paint him, I think I'll leave him in the box. But there it is. Okay. I have... Is that the hero giant? It might. Being brown? Possibly. It is the hero giant. He must be in the cards you've got there. Yeah. Because there was a hero giant and then an undead giant, which is almost the undead version. Okay. Is that him? That's yeah, it's Finn Arton. There he is. I'll have a look at these cards at the end. Well, the models. Oh no. Or do we want to match them up as we go along? That might be a better idea actually. Do that. Matching them up. Okay. And people can actually see the, the stats as we've got the models. Yeah, so there's Finarton. You know what? That's a better idea. Think on your feet. So there's Finarton. Uh, giant throw ability. I don't know either. That'll be in the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this slot may only hold a great axe or shield. Um, in that. And then plus one action, reach, slippery, plus one to dice, run melee, uh, barbarian and battle rage. That is card. Uh, we also have in here the hero's ballista. I don't know whether that's got, I think that's got an item might have card. A item card. We'll go through the item cards at the end. I'm not, not going to start um, looking for them. Okay, so we've got the giant, who's obviously baddie. We've got... Uh, Who's that guy? I don't even remember him. I don't know, I don't have the... Uh, they'll be in here, won't they? Yeah, they should... The bad dude cards. The bad guys. Bad guy. Go on, while we're doing these. May as well. There's a fellow dragon once. Sorry about this. It's alright. Okay. That's why we unbox them. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. Zombie giant. Zombie giant. That's the zombie giant. So what? That's the cards for the zombie giant. Alright. Nothing to say. So you just called zombie giant. I'm just after the names at the moment. The rules are all in the book and we will look at them at the end, I think. Rather than faffing around with them now. I just wonder what he was. I can't remember. Vault Warden. 
Don't what he is? That is the vault warden. Then we have uh, is it Kofi Fee, which is actually a reference to Monty Python. Nothing else. <clears throat> uh, that one. It's quite a cool model actually. Mm, Kofi Fee of. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> quite a good model. Um, we have this guy. Looks like some bat werewolf thing. Is that that one? Where zombie? Where zombie? Yeah, he's the where zombie. We have uh, the undead unicorn. Again, as reference to the, the massive darkness unicorn. <laughs> oh, there you go. Chromatics. Yeah. Yeah. We have this guy. A massive orky type abomination. That, that, that guy, I think. Horde brother. Horde brother. Fair enough. Uh, we have another big orky abomination, but with armour. Uh, that one. Siege breaker. Siege breaker. He's pretty cool. I like him. And we have another elongated kind of orky face thing. Um, one for him. Must have somewhere. Blech. He's definitely had some Nurgle at him. I can't see that one. You can't see that one? No. Is that it? The swamp worker, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's a yeah, swamp worker. Swamp worker. And this guy, the green guy, he kind of looks like an abomination necromancer. As well. He's got all like, the robes on to be a necromancer, but he's huge. <laughs> no. No. I've got all the cards for them, but I can't. I have had. got the zombie giant, haven't we? And then we've got the. Uh, I'll try and find it lighter, but we've got this guy. Which is the. Gorgomination. 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 Quite like that one, actually. I wasn't sure about that when I first saw it. In, on the, I remember this one from the, from the Kickstarter. I wasn't sure about it. Quite like that one. So we'll see a uh, yeah, Stranger Things reference, like some of the uh, heroes. We've got a bunny one. We've got a bunny one. Uh, Maybe the bunny one might be in there. He's not in there. So it might be in the next one. Yeah, yeah bomb, bomb bomb bunny. bunny. Right, so... We've got a nice handy picture as to where everything goes. I don't see him on the picture. Oh yeah, I do. He's on. Abominably. This, this is the challenging part of it. Identifying all the heroes. I was going to explain the references as well to you, so you know. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try my best. So what do you just think of it? Right. Move these back here. So the crap's come back in the box. We'll do it off camera. It's just boring to watch you, isn't it? Just an mm -hmm. unboxing, not a reboxing. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's going right through me. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we have some extra walkers um, and stuff at the top. We got some extra uh, brute bomb, uh, kind of fatty in it. Uh, yeah, um, fatty 
Thirsty. They're cold. Is that about or are they? Are they fatty bursters? There's four of them, isn't there? Yeah. I think they are actually. And then we've got our, our necromancer. An orc necromancer. And we have some orc runners and stuff like that there as well. Then we have here. Are these not the fatty bursters? They may be. I think these are the fatty bursters, to be honest. Okay. Because these are the ones that are like Nurgle's really blast them. We get a bomby bunny out. <laughs> we got the bomb the bunny. <laughs> oh brilliant. Brilliant. Did we get the holy armor as, as a weapon, by the way? Um, <laughs> let me just have a look. Because in any game we have it, that's no weapon that can kill it. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. Got to kill it by the holy armor. There you go. The holy orb of death. That's the one. Uh, yeah, so they're the fatty busters. That's one version. That's the even fatter version. Great explode. That's one of the necromancers now. That's Queen Bav Morda. That's Queen Bath Morda. From Willow. From Willow, we've yeah. got that one I got. That one you got, there you go. Queen Severa. Yeah. That's quite nice. Then we have uh, Count Commissioner Gordon. Uh, Count Temerary. I assume you say that that way. Is it Commissioner Gordon, that? Yeah. As Dracula, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 It's Gary Dracula. Yeah. Um, right, so those are the other necromancers. Um, so it's like, now we're on to the heroes. Mm -hmm. Heroes with the brown pants, apparently. So we have. Uh, Dude with two. Yeah. It's a real challenge. It's it cool. is. I can't remember what he's meant to be called. I know what he, the reference is though, so. That's it, and it's Spearhead. Spearhead. Don't miss me. What's what's yes it is, isn't it? Well done. Miss me. There we have <sighs> this one. Have a real uh, look at it. She looks pretty cool. I thought I saw it before. Is that it? Jean. That one? Yeah. Is that meant to be Jean Grey by any chance? Jean Grey with a sword. Mm -hmm. Could be, the red hair. Next up we have this guy, Fist of Fury. Oh, um, the dude that looks like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Looks like a butterfly and stings like a bee. Mechanicus. Yeah. He's pretty cool actually. Uh, next up, a little lady with a sword. We got the picture. I'm just trying to look it up. Sometimes it's hard to tell until they see the picture. I certainly can't remember. <laughs> it's caught me well off guard again today. I was uh, not expecting this. Going from work on a Monday. It's a nice surprise though. Get it that. is. Only every Monday you come on getting a big box of stuff. That one. Is that it? The grain? The grain. Yes. There you go. Is that Lord of the Rings reference then? Eowyn. Is it Eowyn? Like certainly looks like her now. Mm. She's even got the Rohirrim style sword. A bit of flash and I need to take off before we do paint them. Next up we have... Uh... Oh yes, um, V for Vendetta. Yes, no problem there. Uh, identifying that one. And that was a nice model, I like that. 
The mask's actually pretty good. There you go. Osmodius. Osmodius. I don't know if you're picking it up on the camera. The mask's actually pretty good. As a facsimile of the Guy Fox mask. Next up we have this guy. Cassius. Cassius. There you go. Cassius. Hmm. I'm going to throw that one out to you guys. What reference is that? Go yeah, look at the picture. You see better on the back. There's a yeah. full. That looks like Jason Statham to me, but I can't think of what I. <laughs> There's the card. Iron Clad Flatty Iron Sword Master. Falishing. Nope, it's gone, whatever it is. Done alright so far, now I'm going to fail. Okay, so. Oh, that's um, Stranger Things. Yeah, the first Stranger Things reference. I can't remember the name of the kids in Stranger Things. Is it Billy? That one. Whoever's, whoever's the leader. It's Billy. Yeah. I can't remember the name of who does he play? Who is he in the thing? Yeah. Oh. He's he's the main leader. He's the one that falls in love with Eleven, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. The names have gone. Yeah. From Eleven. Because she's awesome. Yeah. Um Plus it's been a little while since we've watched Stranger Things. <laughs> he's gone watch that, yeah, actually. That's cool. So that's the first of the Stranger Things cast. <laughs> Next up we have a dwarf. I approve. Brannock. Brannock. Yeah. That's got to be um, Billy Connolly yes, character. Yes, that's the, it? It's definitely the Lord of the Rings Billy Connolly reference. Brannock. Looking at it. Next up. Um, Darth Vader. Because he actually does actually look like he should. Earl Jamie. Yeah, he actually does look like James Earl Jones when he was younger. Yes. Does a pretty good facsimile of that one. Let's see, yeah, uh, Conan the Barbarian reference. Yeah. Uh, who's next? Oh, that one. Is it that one? Uh, yes, of course. It's, when it's, again, when I see the picture, yeah. I see, uh, of course, this. It's uh, yeah. Charlie Theron's character. Yeah. What's the name? Furiosa. Yeah. So that's two models she's got. Because she's got one from Black Play. Well, yeah, she has, hasn't she? Yeah. Next up, we've got our Wizardy. Wizardy. Which one is it? The one with the beard? Yes. It's that one, Kelsey. Let's have a look. Hmm. So guys, any ideas? Please stick them in the uh, comments as well. Mm -hmm. That one's escaping me. Then we have it is, isn't it? Yeah. Zing. I'm trying to think of what, what's in her hand. It's like a little book kind of thing. Like a... There you go. Looking for enchantment action plus one action. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, it should really be Eggos. Yeah. So I'm trying to think what the medieval version of Eggos would be. And it's a box with... Waffles in. Waffles in. And it is as well. Yeah. It's pretty good. Next up we have... Class favourite. <laughs> Wolverine. Wolverine and the Dwarf mm -hmm. reference. But he's called... Well, Wolverine's meant to be quite short. Badger. 
badger. The badger. The badger. Did, uh, did you see that one on camera? Yeah. Sorry. No. I'm going to look myself. The badger. One female action. Definitely not ready. <laughs> Don't pay him yellow instead, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yellow. Oh yeah. Uh, next up, we have. Is that the one that's the reference to? Yeah. Yeah, Carrie Fisher, Countess Ordelia. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit sad. Happy times. Santa. Yeah. Definitely happy times. Looks like we have a, a Viking looking chap. Um, yeah, Try to tell just from the. Uh... That one? Yeah. Hyde. Hyde. I think it's got to be a reference to the Vikings. It is literally the yeah, Vikings. The Vikings, yeah. but I'm not sure who he is. Actually, yes, I do. It's. Um, Ragnar. Ragnar. Lothbrok. Yeah. It just came to me then when you're looking at it. Yeah. Ragnar Lothbrok. Um, Next up, Game with Crossbow. Game with Crossbow. Yeah, so that's quite the poem. Rocco. Rocco. Yeah. Let's have a look. So it's, it's not coming to me. No, that one's not coming to me at all. Kind of looks a bit like the look on his face. He looks a bit like Scarface, but with a massive beard and mm. I don't know if he's meant to be or not. You guys decide. You let me know what that's meant to be. Next up, we have. Hell, I'm going to drop that on. Oh, that one. The Marquee. Marquee. Meant to be Prince, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. You can see it. Now we have. Oh, the Black Knight. I'll throw um, that out there before you even see the picture. Sir Swartz. Sir Swartz. I assume he's the Black Knight. Probable. Has he got like unkillable or doesn't feel any pain or anything? <laughs> Is that all you've got? One action, one for regeneration. Yeah, it's definitely black man. Look at the picture. Definitely. Mm, not missed anyone. Um, okay, next we have. I can't tell. I need the picture. Uh, that, that dude. Ryan John. Ryan John. Not George Michael. <laughs> Ryan John. Yeah, fair enough. He does look like him. Sad again, then. Mm. <laughs> uh, next up. A big barbarian guy with axe. Deathmaster. Deathmaster. Looks like John Cleese. John Cleese. <laughs> really, really... John Cleese after he's been at the gym for a long time. Maybe even Bruce Campbell after he's been at the gym for a very long time on some steroids in there at all. Who's he meant to be? Death Master. Don't know. It's another one. Guys, it does look a bit... To be fair, he looks like Bruce Campbell, just really on steroids. So I don't know what the reference is on that, but you guys let us know. <laughs> Next up. Should get this one. Just from looking at her. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, easy. Wonder Woman. Yeah, Princess Isla. Because she just actually she just looks like Wonder yeah. Woman <laughs> as well. Oh, that's a card. Yeah. Quite a nice model that actually. Mm. How bangsy. Okay. Go to the bottom row now. Where we have someone that needs their sword bending back into shape. Um, 
can only assume it's this one. Bricks Moonshine. Bricks Moonshine. That's definitely David Bowie. David Bowie, yeah. It's not young. Um Okay. Uh, is it that one? Sigrun. Sigrun. Sigrun? Yeah. Oh, is that so. another Vikings reference? That's got to be a Vikings reference. I think it is. Yeah. I'd say so. Then we have... Let's go. Oh, that's got to be Storm. Who is definitely 100% Storm. Yep. No doubt. Then we have Anton. <laughs> Debate. No. <laughs> Anton Stark. He's definitely getting painted in red. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool model. Next up we have... Uh, Hildy. 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 He looks a lot more like the girl I thought she was from the other one was. From Viking. Yeah, the Shield Maiden. I'm sure that's the Shield Maiden from Viking. Yeah. So what's the other one? Sigrun. Sigrund. I don't know who she is. Though. She must be some woman. Someone from the interwebs will know. Tell yeah. us, tell us please. Go back in there. Then we have Zanzibar. Zanzibar. He's easily Freddie Mercury. Yeah. We have Oh it's um What is in it? Yeah. Stranger Things reference. Yeah, Lawrence. Pretty cool. I like the fact he's got the bow because he was the one with the uh, slingshot, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah. Then we have Fred Tuck. Who the hell's this? Someone called Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Don't know who that is. Thomas. Let me have a look. Nope. That's a reference. I'm missing that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the even do. And finally. Grace and Gruber. Oh, it's um Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Of course yeah. this. Sad again. <laughs> yeah, it's just like loads of <laughs> references to people that have passed on. Mm. I can't remember at the time of the kicks. I think some of them are obviously. Dave, I think David Bowie died around that time. Yeah. I can't quite remember, um, but some of them were done on purpose as like homages. Yeah. Um, obviously Freddie Mercury. <laughs> there we go. So those are the um, Kickstarter oh. exclusive models, mm -hmm. which we're going to go safely back in this box. Um, before we do that, we've shown all the character cards we've and all the most, monster cards. Yeah, we've just got It's them. just the weapons items cards that are in here. Yeah, there's a few other cards in there as well. A shield gauntlet. Is that many of those in the one too? Grappling lance. Base gun. Two of those. Kind of these, these are the blue cards as well. Uh, spiked armor. So these are like lots of uh, options for the vaults, mm. aren't they? Sword gauntlet. And then we have these normal cards. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, animal armor. <laughs> the Holy Orb of Death. Pitfire Gloves. The Magic Air Ball of Destiny. The Ballistae. That's that's really the rules for the, the Ballistae. We have several cards here, which I've no idea what they are. No, I don't know what they are, I've not seen them Hopefully before. that will become clear when we look at the rules. The rule book. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these away. I might have a look at the rule book now, while well, it's still fresh in our minds. So we'll be back in one second. So we're back. Uh, we can instantly answer that other question. It's part of the final dragon spawning research, which I will save until we actually use it. Mm -hmm. It's actually shown on camera. Uh, then we have the Siege Ballista rules. Um, 
you fatty bursters with the rules. Giant, Finartan and Zombie Giant rules for them. The Abomina Bunny, so there we go. Beware the Abomina Bunny. Abomina Bunny targets all survivors in the zone upon attacking. Abomina Bunny kills every survivor it targets no matter the in health, armour or additional game effect. Abomina Bunny can only be killed with Dragon Fire Attack. So basically, kills every survivor it targets no matter how many. So basically, as soon as that's in, a, in, you lose as soon as that's in the same space as you. Yeah. Because every survivor that's in that space is dead. Yeah. As soon as it moves in. Yeah. Unless you've got the uh, holy. Oh, any kind of dragon fire. I've changed my mind. We're, 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 this, is, this is that vicious. <laughs> and then we've got chromats. Yeah. And we have the gorgon. Gorgomination. Yeah, Gorgomination. The Vault Warden, Horde Brother. We have the Swamp Lurker, Siege Breaker, Were, Zombie, and the uh, Magenta Cup of Ye of Arg. And a targeting matrix on the back. There we go. I'll have a proper read of that actually. Mm. Um, we'll use that in a, in a game. I'm going to have a game. Yeah. In the next couple of weeks, I think. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because we'll be off. And we'll use them all so we can show you the rules properly. Mm. But the, I like the fact they come in a nice book as opposed to all separate. Yeah, because like, the, the like, other ones came separate with separate sheets and it's very easy to lose those yeah, sheets. Yeah, I also like the fact. I, I didn't appreciate quite how much a good idea their box was. Yeah. <laughs> when, when we got it as a final thing, it was like, oh. Yeah. Um, I was like, it's just a box. Yeah, but it's a box and it keeps everything in it. And that's cool. Yeah. And that's why we pretty much ended up with a much smaller box at the end as well. Yeah. <laughs> Getting delivered to us. Right. Well, otherwise, everything would have been in bits and boxes. Um, I think before we go on to any of the boxes, because mm -hmm. they're there, let's have a look at the massive darkness box. So yeah, these will be for uh, some of the models we haven't got to yet, but I'll have a look. You can see a pack of open cards, and they must be open. Mm -hmm. So, so rules for familiar is a massive darkness, we need to play massive darkness again. Okay. Hopefully you can see that on the that one. Please feel free to pause the video. Part two. Right, so we have the rules for the walk walkers. Level one, level two, hopefully none of these are misprinted. <laughs> level three, <laughs> might be the last massive darkness cards. Yeah. Level four, level five, they all look good so far. Goblin runners, level one, level two, three, Four and five. With the Orc Necromancer, which was the big green guy. Yeah. I think. Um, but no, small green guy in, in the box. The big green guy was Abomination. Sorry. Uh, spectral Walkers. I've not got to these models yet. Here's the cards for them. Spectral Walker, level two. A level three. Level four, I want to play Massive Darkness now as well. Level five. <laughs> Been a little while since we played it. Mm. Level one, rats, swarm of. Mm. Swarm of rats, level two. Swarm of rats, level three. Swarm of rats, level four. Swarm of rats, level five. Tainted walkers. The other you could just play Massive Darkness with this deck. Mm. There's that many of them. Tainted walkers, two. Three, four, and five. Grand Inquisition Innsmouth. There he is. Uh, Orc Abomination. 
That's the big, big green thing in the box that we couldn't identify before. Another orc abomination. The necromantic dragon. The necromantic dragon, uh, the advanced one. Greater one, shall I say. Tainted abomination, lesser and greater. Lord of Skulls, lesser and greater. Doom, lesser and greater. Gloom, lesser and greater. And Faolin, lesser and greater. There we go. I'm sure we've got some of these. Yeah. Uh, right, so Azim. So, Berlin. We have Johans. We have Megan. We have Rolf. We have Sally. Again, if you watched the first of our unboxings when we got the box, I don't recognise some of these guys. Uh, we've got uh, Caitlin at Solvig. We've got Dorian. We've got um, Cabral. We've got Kirag. We've got uh, Thorg. I'll be one we don't have. Uh, Tola. Uh, Carol Black Oak. Uh, Cardinal Brimboa. And uh, Kendra. And last week, Spellborns. I think some of these we won't have because we can get all the sets. Mm. If I remember correctly. Yeah, that's right. I, don't think I can see any... Spellborns from here though, so. <laughs> yeah. But I can't, as I said, I can't remember what we didn't get yet. That's what we're going to find out now. Mm -hmm. So, oh, oh did we look little, at those? Little cards as well. Got Mayog, little doggy. Yep. Um, we've got Vandis. Vatten, Gog, Seth, and Lucifer. Cool. Those, those like look like little companions, little familiars. Yep. So yeah, look quite cool actually. Yeah. So that's a good set actually. You could literally just play with that. You could quite easily. Um, yeah. Well, that's the thing with Massive Darkness, you, you, can, you can mix you can, and match. You can mix what mobs in you want, you can have yeah. an all-orc dungeon there, or an all, um, you know, different kinds of things. Yeah. 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 I'm impressed. Right, let's put these cards away. Um, do you want to unbox the dice? Of course you do. Some of you have never seen dice before. <coughs> oh, there's two. There's so, the rules there for the familiar. There's one person watching this who's never seen dice before. Oh. Just me. Love dice. Love dice. My dice. Be my dice. So green dice. Oh, look at them roll. Let's do a proper roll. See how lucky they are. Um, they're rubbish. Uh, come oh, away. Oh. That's not good. Oh, 3-5. Yeah, I was going to say you got 3-5 somewhere. That's cool, actually. Actually, I got a 6 as well, because I forgot the, the, the heads a, a 1. And the 5 is a 6. So actually, lucky dice, I'm going to keep all of them. <laughs> Change your mind. Change my mind. That's how fickle I am. I'm like, look. Are we going with the small boxes? I think we should go with the small boxes, because this will polish off the Stranger Things. Yes, that's a good point. Lots. So here we have North the Halfling. Which is, is the, 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 the other cat. lad. That the kid with the cat. Yeah. <laughs> God, I can't remember the names. Um, and Liam, who spent most of his time off screen. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get these unboxed. Like you did one of you did. Yeah, Liam's the one who got who ended up in the first series actually going into the Yeah. In, into the uh and North of the Halfway is the one who decided it was a good idea to try and raise a demigorgon. Yes! Which is a little bit pale for the end, but not, not a lot. No. 
Jag vill inte vara. Jag yeah. ska ställa om. Aha. <laughs> Those cutting people that put the thing at the side. There is a lean. See the card. The zombie link. Kind of makes sense. Plus one action, plus one damage. Slippery. Yeah. One free combat, one free movement, and rotten. Yeah, so he's kind of a half zombie esque. Yeah. So the rules for him actually do make quite good sense. There is the model. It's pretty nice, actually. And do you want to show Yep. There's um, North the Halfling. That's a cool model actually. So he gets one free search action. Plus one action, plus one dying combat. Slippery as well, one free move action and lucky. And uh, yeah, and he can hold torch. Ah. There we go. So that's the Stranger Things cast. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting to play just using them. It would actually. See what happens. So, do you want to do that one next? Yes, we we'll do some of the smaller boxes and we'll get on to the expansions. First. So, the uh, special guest one. Uh, this one's got the Grand Inquisitor Inzmai, who we saw before, Spellbones, Kendra, and Cardinal uh, Brimbar. These were some of the cards that you saw in the crossover. You know, the actual models. Gray. I think he's one of those that you can either use as a. Is there a good hero card from as well? Character or hero, maybe? I'll just have a look. I'm just wondering if he's. He certainly looks like a villain. No. No, he's a villain. He's, he's a villain, he's, he's a villain he's through and through. Yeah. We've got cards for um, uh, Burnbauer, which is the fish guy. Burnbauer? Mm hmm. He's a different kind of looking guy. It's quite cool. I mean, these ones aren't meant to be anybody. These are just the special gas box. Yeah. But this guy kind of reminds me of anyone seen Farscape. Is it, is it Rigel, his name? Right. The little guy. He's right. a little, he looks a lot like him, actually. All right, cool. Um, so, if, and these aren't, I don't think these ones are meant to be anybody in particular. But he does, have, he does look a lot like Rigel. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Kendra. Kendra. Kendra is that one. That one. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then we have the spell bones. Spell bones, I think we saw before. Those are the rules for spell bones. Those are the four models from that uh, guest box. Those are the cards for his mouth. And those are the necromancer cards. Well, the normal necromancer rules. No line of sight can be drawn as it to Innsmouth zone by actors outside of it. Alright. Most difficult to kill one. Right, okay. Um, so. We've got the Rat King or we've got Ultimate Survivors. Which one next? Ultimate Survivors. Ultimate Survivors? Right, we'll put these guys away and then we'll do the Ultimate Survivors. Okay, so the Ultimate Survivors pack. You are basically the survivors from the original Black Plague. Only more armoured. Ultimate. Um, <laughs> so if we can get in there, that'd be a great step. So these are meant to be like ones, the versions of them after the. After the ex exploits. After in. the exploits when they've become cooler and awesome. Everyone knows the name. Mm. They all shout right. out Clovis! Yeah. They've been to Boston Bar called Cheers. Yeah. Fair 
Uh, sneaky. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if that went to be stuck in there. Right. Tape. No. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so you right there? No, I can't get into this. Can't get into this. Yeah. That's very tight and packed. Tight and packed. I'll start with Clovis. This is fully armoured. No nonsense. Means business. Clovis. I think we're getting the original card out having a look. Mm. But plus one die, melee taunt. I'm pretty sure you didn't start with that last time. Plus one action, plus one free melee action, brother in arms, plus one free combat action. Plus one dice roll, brother in arms, plus one free combat action, hit and run. He didn't have all those skills last time. Taunt's got them. He looks cool. No, he was really cool actually. Who's next? My favourite character. Samson. Samson. And there he is. So, uh, charge an iron hide. Restart actions, plus one action. So, some to combat. Uh, barbarian, plus one damage melee, plus one combat action. Roll six, plus one die melee. And you know the hammer still. And that arm. And that one arm. That looks like arm. There is arm. She, she's now like another superior. Another superior arm. Yeah. She's got larger swords and more armor. She gets a blood muscle melee and iron hide as well. Plus one action, plus one free melee action. Spellcaster, plus one damage combat, plus one free combat, plus one dice roll. Combat. So that's Baldrick. Baldrick. With the rather cool looking spell effect going on in his hand. Seems to have upskilled himself a bit. Mm -hmm. So, plus one die in combat, spellcaster. Plus one action, plus one combat action, spellbook. Plus one magic, magic dice. Plus one free combat action, plus one dice for combat, and then enchantment may hold a slot instead. So the basic, it's basically the starting skills are slightly different, isn't mm -hmm. it? A couple of their um, learning skills as they go along. Nelly. Nelly. She got us out with a few scrapes a few she times, has. hasn't she? She's definitely upgraded from the barmaid, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, one free move. I thought I said, honestly, I thought I said lightsaber then. I was looking at the picture, there's a glowing <laughs> thing around. And that's the first thing I saw. <laughs> Put some free move now. And lightsaber? Life saver. <laughs> Okay, plus one action, bloodlust, melee, <laughs> shove. Um, plus one free combat action, plus one dice roll combat, and plus one zone per move. May hold a dagger. Yeah, Nelly's awesome. That model's pretty cool. That Sony's bending back into shape. It's mm. Definitely so, it's not like <laughs> It's like disappointing now. <laughs> and then we've got Silas, is it? Yeah. He looks pretty damn awesome. He does actually, he looks like he's upgraded himself a lot. He looks badass now, yeah. to be honest. Especially for an elf. What's his card? Plus one max range and plus one dice roll to ranged. So he's got further range as well, yeah. that's pretty handy. Plus one action, plus one free range action, marksman, plus one free combat action, iron rain, which is something he did have last time, roll six plus one any dice. There you go. Those are the upgraded ultimate heroes. Well impressed. The moles are really good. Mm. Um, yes, they, 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 are, they are better models and there's, they are cool. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Like in them. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so now we'll move on to the Rat King. Okay, so we have the Rat King and Swamp Troll by A. Smith. A. A. Smith. Um, we also have some rat swarms in here, which you may have seen the rat swarm 
cards earlier. That's for both. Cool. Reminds me very much like Hamlin out of Malfo. Yeah. That's a good point actually. Gone. So we have the rules for this guy here. So again, this was an optional buy, so that's why it was included in the other ones. Like I said, we didn't get all the optional buys, but I couldn't pass by on, on the rat king. That's pretty awesome. Swarms of rats. Swamp troll. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got two sets of cards there. You've got one for the Rat King and one for the Swamp Troll. There's the Rat King. And then we've got Swamp Troll. I can hear my scaving in the background going in the office. <laughs> yeah. So the Swamp Troll. Nice. There it is. Got That's nasty. It's like it? Monster from the Black Lagoon. There's got this massive uh, a hook shot hook. kind of thing. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool, actually. It's not the reason about the, the box set, but he is pretty good, actually. I like him. Um, and there is the Rat King himself. The Rat King. It's pretty cool. I got a vicious sort of rat dog thing. Uh, <laughs> seen it? Yeah. And there's got like a little pail of rats that he's throwing down. There's been Nicole Green on his face. You're right. Yeah. You got a shiver there. Yeah, I do. You're yeah, like, Ooh. pail of rats. <laughs> I like him. He's cool. But yeah, he kind of reminds me of Hamlin a little bit. Like mm. Then we have the rat swarm models. They, they, there's two of each, is there? There's Looks three like. different ones, two of each. So that's one. That's two. They're pretty good though, that, actually. I wish the scaven ones were good though. And then. There's the other one. Oh. We got the. Yeah, I've shown the cards. You've shown the cards? Yeah. What are the numbers on the cards? Are they just. Uh, 351, 352, and you go all the way through to 360. But they're, they're the usual, depending right. on what rank it is, whether how many rats swarm and. So rats do one damage, one damage to destroy, they provide one experience. Swarms of rats get an extra activation each time a swarm of rats. Zombie cards drawn. Swarm of rats move up to two zones per activation to reach their target zone and set their target zone before moving to them. They move to get there and don't change their course. If a new target appears along the way, swarm of rats still only get one acting per activation, either moving or attacking. So they move two, like runners, but that doesn't mean they get two activations. Right. So they don't get to attack twice. Right. Uh, when they move, some of rats ignore all obstacles, hindering them, preventing their movement, except for closed doors and walls. And then the zombie, the zombie troll, the swamp troll, which is an important thing, he's not a zombie, he's a swamp troll. No, he's, he's not undead like the rest of them. Doesn't say the, I don't say the rats are either, it just says the... Oh, it says the carriers of the zombie plague, but they don't actually... Like the black plague then, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I was reading that. Damage 2 for the swamp troll, and damage 3. Uh, uh, so it does 2 damage. Minimum damage destroys 3. Experience is 5. Wound inflicted by abominations can't be prevented by armour. 3 damage or more weapon is required to kill an abomination. Swamp troll is spawned in the noisiest zone on the board. If it is a waterhole zone, then the noisy zone is not a water hole zone. Swamp Troll spawns in the water hole zone closest to it. If several water hole zones are eligible, players can choose. If there are no water hole zones on the board, the Swamp Troll spawns in the spawn zone closest to the noisiest zone instead. Right. Nasty. 
It's all nasty. It's all. All nasty. It's all not nice. I can't wait to see. <laughs> In motion. Right. <laughs> That's the last of small boxes, isn't it? It is. Okay. And we've got the two expansions to go through. We do. So I like Clay Pick. Which expansion we're going to do first? We'll do the one that's nearest to me, which is Friends and Foes. Friends and Foes. Friends and Foes. Expansion for the Zombicide Black Plague or and Green Horde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and or Green Horde. There we go. So you can use this with either of them or both of them. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using them. Uh, contents on the back though. So we get uh, four heroes. We get the companions, and um, we get some more zombies. Mm -hmm. So let us uh, open the box up. Let's get some tiles. <laughs> they don't bother to use the knife this time. These claws. Yes. Let us in. The rules here and quests. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's also an ice cream van. <laughs> see, hidden in this box. Uh, or just driving past, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think that's more likely, isn't it? Yeah. Um, some bright green zombies in here. Bright green. You've also got all the little familiars as well. Oh, these are the tainted ones, that's right. These are the tainted walkers and the tainted abomination. So we have Dorian, Caitlin, Calbrell, Calbrell and Solveig. We have 18 tainted walkers, one tainted abomination. We have Lucifer and Vatan, who are the wolves. We have Seth and Vandis, who are the little griffins. And we have Gog and Magog, who are the dogs. Still, I can defeat Salta. I'll never defeat my three nemesis gravity. <laughs> right. So this is the tainted abomination in the bright green uh, colour, just to make it stand out, a bit like a toxic zombie from the original. Is it toxic or radioactive? I can't remember which. Something like that, yeah. There he is. And then we have six each of these guys, so that's one version. Tainted. I've got tainted love going through my head now. <laughs> and that's the next one. And then six of them as well. And the last one. Spiky. <laughs> yeah, very spiky. So the brown one of oh, the familiars. This is Nucifer. Nucifer? Say hello to the good people. This is Vatan. And we have Seth. A little little flying griffin cat things. Seth and Vanadis and then we have Gog and uh, Magog with the dogs which leaves us with the uh, heroes so that's uh, Dorian who's dropped about the place 
let's see, plus one dice to roll magic, one action, one da dice magic, spell book, one die magic, roll six, plus one die magic, spell caster. Then we have Caitlin. Pretty awesome looking. Um, Brother in Arms, plus one die combat, plus one action, plus one free melee action, sprint, plus one free move action, plus one free combat action, and roll six, plus one damage. And. So, come here, solid leg. No. Again, very much like a Viking yeah. shield maiden again. Uh, what's she got? Yeah. Um, born leader. Plus one action, plus one free combat action. Brother in arms, Ironhide. Plus one free combat action, plus one dice roll, melee, bloodlust, melee. Finally, Cabral. Who's an orc. He's an orc, he's obviously not being tainted. Um, they look a bit like Thrall, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, shove, plus one action, Barbarian, bloodlust, melee. Plus one die melee, plus one free action, plus one dice roll melee. Very else awesome, might throw on Duratan, but the model doesn't. It's a bit, mm. it's a bit weedy to be throw on Duratan the model. A huge. Right. So we've got the, the uh, weapon cards. So I've got heavy, heavy dagger. A couple of those. Uh, heavy swords. Um, Home bow. Uh, mace. We've got plague mask. A power wave, which is a spell. got three power waves and then we have the familiars so we've got Vog uh, Mogog Seth Vanadis Lucifer and Vatten. Cool. And then the rest are just your Tainted Walker cards. Yeah. The Tainted Walkers do two damage. Their one damage to destroy experience points reward is one point. Okay. Tainted Walkers are Orcs and Walkers, but they do not benefit from extra card activations for standard Walkers. Uh, tainted Blood Sprayer. Survivor killing a Tainted Walker standing in their zone endures a single hit in it in return, inflicting two wounds. An armour roll is allowed. Tainted Walkers use the Horde rules. Cool. Tainted Abomination. Damage three. Uh, and three to destroy it. Experience provided is five points. Tainted Abominations do not benefit from the Horde rules. Um, wound... Inflicted by abominations can't be prevented by armor rolls, same as any other. A damage three weapon or dragon fire is required to kill. Tainted blood spread, survivor killing in the, a survivor killing a tainted abomination standing in their zone and does a single hit in return, inflicting three wounds. Mm. So don't stand next to these things when you kill. These have got to be taken out by range, really. Yeah. Uh, and then it goes through some of the rules which are actually in the, the Green Horde book. Because in case you don't get Obviously, Green Horde and you tells you about the Horde rules, yeah. tells you about hedges, um, and then it goes on to Familiars, which again is something we'll have to do in another video. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very long video because that goes through absolutely everything. Uh, we have a bunch of quests. We have the uh, Creeping Plague. Quite going to turn that for me. Oh, there's another dog. That's two, three, four. So I've got a good quest chain on this actually. Quest 5, quest 6, 7, 8. Yeah, it's got like a whole quest chain going on this. Um, 
Ten. Ten. Cool. And then the end. The end. And then those are the, the extra tiles. mats that you'll get. It's very similar to the green hard ones. Mm. Some variation on them. It's got water zones and inside we've got the hedges. Pretty cool. She's had some variation. We haven't played much with Green Horde, unfortunately. Yet. We haven't managed to, um, have we? It's not a chance. Which is why we're a bit rusty on some of the stuff for Green Horde. Um, because we were waiting for this to come so we could paint everything. I'm putting the cards back up. Yeah, they go at the top. They go at the top. Yeah. Yeah, see, that, that, that's why I need your own stuff. Forget. Here we go. Sweet. I mean, there's loads to go on. This, this is like, between this and Black Play, that's a ton of models mm -hmm. and rules and quests and heroes. I oh, we'll ever play all the heroes, there's that many. There are. There's um, so many heroes. Even the ones in the. Um, the other box set, we've never played all of them. No, we haven't. We've painted them all. We've painted them all. Black play. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> we've never played them all. Right. So, move on to the last box we're going to open today. Mm -hmm. Which you'll all be glad of. We've opened many boxes. It's a bit like when we did the Massive Darkness one. And Rum and Bones. Rum and Bones. Actually, last box is in those two, I think. Yeah, I think there is actually. Rum and Bones went on forever. Yeah, it seemed to. <laughs> That's another one we need to play some more of. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Um, right, so, Black Plague Green Hole expansion, as it says again. Inside, we have, it's a lot lighter than the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's no cards, for uh, no tiles, I mean. Um, but we do have a massive dragon. We have swarms of rats again. Spectral we have walkers. spectral walkers. We have a ballistae. And a bunch of cards. Some of this stuff we've seen before. Oh, 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 travel. Have you got that side? Yeah. Oh, good. So there we go. I mean, kind of. We're just pouring at it now. There's a knife, literally. <laughs> there, and I yeah. can use that. Yeah. Yeah, we've got eight to end now with our claws. Yeah, a level up my claws ability. That's why I'm not using the knife now. I've leveled that up to now. Right, so no rest for the wicked. There's the models. Got some bully spectres. They look pretty cool. They do actually. Uh, so we should have 18 spectral walkers and 15 swarms of rats, one ballista and one necromantic dragon. These wings are separate as well. We've got Necromantic Dragon spawning, which looks like it works like the other dragon because we have the same set of sure. um, okay, activation. I imagine the Feral and Necromantic Dragon work in very similar ways. Um, I'll have a good read of that. It's quite curious to read that. And we've got the Siege Engine Ballista again. And we've got Spectral Walkers. Well, Claire's unboxing that. Uh, they do one damage. And they take one damage to destroy, but only from special sources. They, they get one experience point when you kill them. Or you get one experience point when you kill them. Spectral Walkers are Walkers. They do not benefit from Walker Extra Activation cards. Uh, spectral Walkers can only be killed with Ballista, Combat Spells, or Vault Weapons including magic equipment from the Wolfsburg expansion and Dragonfire. So nice anything that's really bad or really magical. Yeah. Sweet, you're in. The rats are the same as the rats previously. I think they're the same models as well, you just get five lots of each here. Right, so the spectral walkers. They look really cool. I like that blue actually. Mm. I'm just tempted not to go over that. I'm just leaving my arms to do the bases. Ink them or something. 
So there's one. So there's six of each type and there's three types. And three. Ballista, same as we've seen before. Mm -hmm. And the Necromantic Dragon, I think it's bigger than the Feral Dragon actually. Mm, probable. But there is the mem yeah he's bigger. There is the main body. And here are the wings. Now these actually look like they'll stay in. Just watch them just fall out. It's just because they've got longer pegs. And the actual holes them are right at the top. Yeah, there's so a gravity bit more. has no effect on it. So there you go. They're not going to fall out. That guy is frigging huge. Mm. And we've got the real swing massive darkness as well, haven't we? Yes. So he will make his appearance in probably both. <laughs> That's massive. I like that. Yeah. That's probably my favourite model. Of all of them. Of all of them so far. There we go. So what do you think? Yeah, got the cards there as well. Yeah. See, these are just your extra cards really, they're nothing massive. You've also got um, the Necromantic Dragon card. Um, some more of those directional cards that we saw before. And then I'm going to put that card up at you. It's a red card. It's called the Ballista card. Ballista card. <laughs> so you're off the pitch, mate. You're off the pitch, basically. No good soaking on me. Yeah, the, the fit on those wings is much better. Yeah. They've not come out at all. You could easily just, once, I mean, once we've painted, the fit will be even tighter. Considering they're much larger as well. So I'll give you that my favourite model is the Necromancer is Dragon, one? and the least favourite model is the Feral Dragon. Hmm. Because of the way they designed the wings. Yeah. I think it's poor. So I'm going to have to glue them in. Or, oh, or stick some pins, pins in. pins in, we pin them. Yeah, which means they're not going to go back in the box. These will go back in the box. Yeah. We'll have to have a look at that and see what we can do. Um. I think that's it for today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're obviously going to do another video with the models and we can have a good look at the rules and see how they work. That might, because this was unplanned, it might be a little, a little bit in a couple of weeks maybe. Maybe, yeah. And that way we've got time to play a couple of games and film it and then get it up. Yeah. Um, but those are all the models. That is the unboxing. That's purely what this is, just unboxing and showing you. I've read a few of the rules out. If you've got any questions in the meantime, put them in, I'll try and answer them. Uh, but the way YouTube's gone now, it just throws loads of stuff in my feed, so I think I'm missing some people's comments. So I'll try and get, get your comments on there. But when it's coming up, it's telling me that it's uploaded about a million things. So I'm going to have to have a look into that. Because uh, I know I've missed a couple of people's and then gone back to them when I've had a look at the videos. Um, so if I miss your comment, I do apologise. But... Uh, Stick if you want to know anything, any of the rules that we haven't covered, and mm -hmm. stick in the comments in the meantime. Before and because I need to read through them all anyway, especially the rules on the dragon and how it moves. Mm. Um, that'll be something we do in the next video. I think we'll be using probably this guy because he's awesome. Yeah. As for, just a, as a quick opinion, now what do you think? I think they're really cool. Um, I think they're gonna add a lot to the game. Can make it different. It's not just the same mm. run. Because you can mix and match things, and I'm loving the fact that you can swap it with Massive Darkness as well. Yeah, this was the box I wasn't sure I'm getting when we were buying it. Because uh, basically, you don't get any heroes in this, and you don't get any tiles in this. It's just purely models. Just, it's just enemy models and a ballista. Um, but I think it'll add so much more to it. But to I think it's worth it to the big dragon. Yeah. I'm a big fan of big dragons, so mm. I think it's worth it for that. Plus, lots of rats. We've got some more rats with the rat king, which means there can be plenty of rats on there without having to worry about them there. Yeah. <laughs> Taking think, over the board. I think one of the things thing. we didn't get was like the um, trees and not the trees, the hedges and We walls. didn't get the hedges and the, and the barricades and stuff. Um, I, I, I 
if I really wanted them, I could make some myself. Mm. Uh, they were just a bit expensive for what they were. Um, and we did get a couple of the add-ons, and some of the models were actually in the um, thingy set, the crossover set. Yeah. Um, those I'm, uh, I wish I got, but because we've got the rules for massive damage from them, those I probably wish I got. But I'm, I'm quite happy with not getting the the trees and hedges, the, the hedges and the um, obstacles and yeah. stuff. We've got the card versions of that, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, so there we go. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned. We shall be playing this game. Uh, they won't be painted by the time we play it, by the way, guys. <laughs> Can't paint that fast. Nah. But uh, we will play them in the state that they're in. And um, show you some of the rules, I think. Play a proper game of Green Horde, but with some extras yeah. thrown in. Probably all the abominations. <laughs> Just to see how badly we can lose. Um, So, if you're not into dragons or the or spectres, I think the other add-on's better price mm. than this one. But you know, if you're a completionist like like we are, mm -hmm. you know, get them both. Yeah. There we go. Um, that's it, I think. For that's this one. it. Yeah. yeah, basically. Nothing much else to say. Um, we didn't back invaders. No. Although we did and we didn't. Yeah. Uh, so. This will be the last zombie side we get for a while, uh, so that's why we're going to make the most of it. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons is the zombie sides are very similar to each other. And while I liked some of the Invader stuff, some of it I thought a bit meh about. And then the other reason was cost, because Legion came out at the same time. Yeah, we, and, ha we uh, had to make a choice. I had to make a choice where I got Star Wars stuff, which is my favourite thing in the universe, or another zombie side set. The thing with the zombie side in was it invasion? Yeah. What did me was the fact that they bought out the main core box set game, yeah. and then they bought out two other core box sets along with it. Was yeah, it you two didn't, or you one? Didn't like that, did you? I didn't like that. At like all. I said, I though, thought that was just we're kind of cheeky. completionists. Yeah. Was, like I said, I'm already regretting not getting a couple of the other box sets for this now because we've got the cards to play them in there. Massive yeah. darkness. Uh, so that's annoying at me. So if I'd only got one part of Invaders, it would have gnawed at me. You know what I mean? Mm. I still wish I had the Conan model from the first version of Black Plague. So I'm a completionist. So I think uh, I'm a collector. Yeah. So, yeah. So the thing with that is, it was all or nothing, and it was a bit expensive to go all. Yeah. Especially with other stuff coming out. Um, but the models look great, and anyone who's got Invaders. I hope that it comes the same way this has come, and I hope you're as impressed with it as I am. So the only model I've not been impressed with this is that other dragon. Yeah. Because the wings fall off. Now, I'm wondering if there's a way to either green stuff an extra long plug onto that, or pin it, or do something else with it. But I'll let you guys know what I do um, next time. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we're done. Yep. Yes, this is another one of those unplanned videos that you always get when we get a, a cool mini or not box. It's like, I like, hadn't really Dah! thought this through. No. So, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe, help us out a lot. Stay tuned for more zombie size stuff, obviously. Uh, we're going to play this, not just this box, but all, all the zombie size stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned for Legion stuff, because we're going to be playing some more Legion. And stay tuned for Age of Sigma, because yeah. we'll be getting the new one of those from that. We point. will be. Because that's got spectres in. <laughs> Night haunts. Uh, uh, I'll be having the uh, sigmarines. The sigmarines. We quite like the sigmarines. Yeah. I do actually. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like warm towards them. Mm -hmm. You've melted my heart. Oh, <laughs> did you do some like fiery spells. <laughs> yeah, that was it. But that's the other thing I'm looking forward to in, in, is, is the spells and stuff. Mm. Let's see what how different they are. The endless, are they called endless spells? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, because they've actually got models of them and stuff. I quite like the idea of that. So we'll see what happens there. But stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, you take care and we shall see you soon. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.